Hi guys, thanks for joining us. Today is the Feast of the Ascension. Uh, it's a major feast in the church this year. It's a holy day of obligation. And because it's such a big celebration, it's important that you celebrate in some way, maybe by having a little bit of cake. But before we do that, this video is gonna tell you a little bit about the Ascension and why it's so important. So today is the day when we celebrate Jesus' ascent to heaven. That's where we get the name from. A little while ago, we celebrated the great feast of Easter and the joy of the resurrection. And having resurrected, Jesus spent 40 days teaching his disciples about the kingdom of God. And when his earthly ministry was complete, he went with the disciples to a place called Mount Olivet. And there he ascended to heaven. So he rose up into the clouds and two angels appeared to reassure the disciples that Jesus had gone ahead of them to prepare a place for them. But Jesus had already told them that he would be sending the Holy Spirit. And so the disciples were encouraged to wait patiently for that to come. So this feast is really important. And one of the things that shows us how important it is, is how often it appears in the New Testament. So this story of Jesus' ascent to heaven features in, in the Gospels, in the letters that people wrote after the Gospels, and in the Acts of the Apostles. And I think this shows us that it definitely happened because there were lots of people who saw it and then lots of different people wrote about it. So it's clearly something that it was of huge importance to the early church. And we know that because it's been celebrated for pretty much as long as we know that things have been celebrated for. St. Augustine wrote about the Feast of the Ascension in the three to four hundreds. And he was talking about it as something that was already regularly happening. So if you think about it, this is something that's been happening for as long as the church has existed. So by celebrating the Feast of the Ascension today, we're connecting ourselves with the whole history of the church. So this feast is celebrated all over the world. It's of huge importance to the whole church all across the world. And lots of people celebrate it in lots of different ways. Some churches will have a figure of Jesus literally ascend through the roof of the church. But perhaps my favorite of the, the sort of traditions is that in some churches they have a procession and that there is a banner and the banner features a lion standing on top of a dragon showing Jesus the lion conquering death and evil, which is symbolized by the dragon. So make sure you celebrate today in a, in a unique and special way, uh, wherever you are, however you want to do that. So I suppose there are two questions really after the ascension. What happened next and what does that mean for me? Well, what it means for you today is that Jesus is now in heaven, reunited with God the Father, preparing a place for you. This is what Jesus told his disciples, that he was going ahead of them to prepare heaven for them. And the same is true for you today. You are called to be disciples. And so therefore Jesus is currently in heaven getting a space ready for you. I'm sure he's taken into account your design needs and wants, and it'll be exactly what you want when you get there. And for me, that's really exciting that Jesus is ahead of me, anticipating my arrival in heaven and gives us another reason to celebrate. And the second thing is what happened next. The disciples were left alone. They were undoubtedly worried and scared, just like they were when Jesus died. But Jesus didn't leave them alone. He told them that the Holy Spirit would be coming to them soon. And on the Feast of Pentecost, just a few days later, so in 10 days time, we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. And that is when we remember the descent of the Holy Spirit. So Jesus ascended into heaven and the Holy Spirit descended onto earth to enrich our lives and to ensure that we are able to move through life towards heaven as God intended. So it's a really important feast. It's a really, really big day. If you are able to, please do go to Mass. If you're in Cardinal Wiseman today, we'll be having a Mass streamed in the chapel at lunchtime. So please look into how you can get to that. And there'll be some more details going out about that later. But if you can't go to Mass at school, look to go to Mass in your parish. But even if you can't do that, just take some time to pray and give thanks for the fact that Jesus is in heaven preparing a space for you. It's a wonderful feast. It's a great reason to give thanks. Have a great day. Don't forget to have some cake. See you soon. Bye.